Hey you guys, what's up? I am doing a duo series on the two books in the Jacksons of Ann Arbor series by L. Wright. Um, the two books are It's Always Been You and Wherever You Are. Basically, this is the first, um, these are two books in the series, um, published by Harlequin, and it talks about a medical family. Um, basically a family that does a lot of medical work with, with hot, like with doctors, you know, psychiatrists and things like that. Um, the patriarch of the family, I can say, is definitely Dr. Lawrence Jackson or Dr. Law, as they call him. And the patriarch is very manipulative. He's an asshole. He's very bitch made to me. Um, he has three children. Three had three sets of wives. Um, according to the first book, he had slept with, he had was married. Um, his wife was pregnant. While his wife was pregnant, he went out and cheated. And then um, I guess he had another woman a few days later. But he has to, he has the nerve to sit up on his hot throne. I'm not going to go too much on him because this is just the first part of the video where I'm going to just go and roast his ass real quick because he's a bitch and he's a hypocrite. But, and he is, see, he's very nasty. He reminds me of a J.R. Ewing. As a matter of fact, he kind of reminds me of um, Senior from um, Touch By You, which is another book by her. If you haven't read that, that, that review, I'm going to link it in the link bar below. But let me tell you, I just don't know what's up with these men. But anywho, let's get to the story. Um, it's Always Been You definitely is the first book in a book series. Um... It deals with Drake and his best friend, Dr. Lovely Washington. Now, they wake up in the morning in the bed in Las Vegas and realize, oh, did we have sex? We got married. They was drunk because she was dealing with the fact that she had lost one of her patients in the hospital. And then a year ago, she was dumped by her um, fiance, Dirk. Now... I don't understand what's up with these kid parents trying to control their children's lives to a degree. It's just like, damn, like, oh my gosh. So with that book, you know, the mother Gloria, I like the mother Gloria. You know, she's excited. She's thinking that Drake and Lovely got together. She's always hoped for a Drake and Lovely reunion. Um, she was still in contact with her dad. Her dad tried to bring the fiance, the ex-fiance back. Um, I personally felt the fiance needed his ass whooped for real because to me, I feel as though if you break up with somebody through text messaging instead of being a man coming to their face saying, hey, I don't want to be with you no more, blah, blah, blah. You was a bitch for that. Excuse me for cussing, but you was a straight bitch for that. You know, I'm the type of person I want direct, direct um, face to face communication. That's that's all, you know. Um, So with that being said, um, of course. Dr. Law wants to control her, his son's life, which happens to be Drake. And Drake is just like Slim. She, he checks his father. And the thing about him, he's a butt. Like, the, I, I already went on um, Dr. Law. I don't like him. Straight up. I don't like him. I don't like him. So, with that being said, you know, Drake and Lovely have to deal with a lot of drama. Of course, they work in the same place. You have to deal with a lot of women hitting on him. He has to deal with a, his ex her ex-fiance coming in and things like that. And, you know, it is a good book. Sexual tension definitely builds between them two. And then on top of that, they've been best friends for their whole lives. So that kind of makes sense. And I kind of like a best friends to lover story. You know, that's, that's pretty cool to me. And I, I definitely enjoyed that one. I actually got through that through a whole day. Then I'm going to do Wherever You Are, which is um, deals with um, Drake's, Uncle, uncle brother L. Now L Wood is Lawrence's younger brother. He had they had their parents had him probably after Law was twenty one, and Law basically took them in. But he was a manipulative asshole as well towards towards L Wood and them too, towards L Wood and his kids. Like I said, he's a bitch. I don't like him. Whew. Okay. So with that being said, L and Avery. Avery left town many years ago. To do some stuff that L has said, I mean, not L, Law has said about her. And I'm just like, really, Law? You that trifling? It's, see, he claimed that it's not that he didn't like Avery. He just felt that Avery wasn't good enough for him because of the money and all that. Money don't make you don't make you anything. Money doesn't buy you class. You know what I'm saying? You either have it or you don't. But anywho, 
L and Avery have to work through past forgiveness. Excuse me, I just burped. And you know, not to mention Avery has a mini has a stroke and she has to deal with life, dealing with her other full senses as well, too. And learning how to give up control and things like that, and learning how to depend, love, and things like that. Both books were very good. Um, I definitely like the scene where um, L and Law definitely, conf I mean, L confronted Law, and Law just sitting there like he didn't give a fuck for real. And I honestly felt that his, he didn't. Like, oh, you, God, you're disgusting. But I already went on about him enough. But definitely get these two books in the series. I enjoyed these books. Um, like I said, I'm going to put... The review in the description bar below, uh, Touch by You, which is the other review I did as well, too, by L. Wright. And I just got to say, but like in both books, you'll definitely see a couple of cameo characters if you read her other books as well, too, from the Edge of Scandal series. So you can definitely, uh, you'll definitely happy to see some familiar faces as well again, too. Um, anyway, on my cheekbones today, I don't know if you guys can see it because my camera, I don't know, child. But I have on Peach Switch Bless from MAC, and then I have on the highlighter, um, all three highlighters from the... Um, Get the glow palette. Um, I forgot the name of that damn palette. No, hyper real, Glo hyper real glow palette. I'm sorry, and it's in the gold. It's the gold shade. So yeah, I definitely had that in my highlight as my cheek bone today. Anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching and enjoy reading. Bye.